The countdown to 2016 is on, and time is running out to get those menus together for your New Year's Eve party. Brandon Fay, Managing Director of Trattoria dell'Arte, is here with a few ideas. Brandon, thanks so much for coming in. It smells so good. Truly, my It pleasure. does indeed. <laughs> Take it all it in. looks like we're making some sort of grilled cheese situation, are, which I'm are. very, very happy yeah, about. So, so let's get right to it. Lots of fun on the past finger food, and we're doing a throwback to the grilled cheese. <laughs> but we're doing an exotic. And we're doing it really classy. We're gonna add some prosciutto cotto. And if you wanna have some fun and assemble the sandwich, always. We got mini melts. Prosciutto cotto. So we're gonna some it. Gruyere cheese over there. We got some provolone. You know what I do? Mm -hmm. I grab all types of cheese that are really high quality ingredients, but also a little smelly. Because when they're smelly and they stink a little bit, they're usually <laughs> very tasty. <laughs> yeah. This looks like ham. It's not ham? You know what? It's also ham too. Prosciutto cotto. Basically, it's cooked prosciutto. And then you throw that on. And then to give it a little bit of a nice, healthier, Touch with oh, right. right. Okay. Yeah. Because we're clearly focused on the healthy right. part. Totally. That's for right. after the New Year. Exactly. That's when the resolution Hello. comes in. We cored our apple, which is really cool. Love my love mm -hmm. my tech apple core. savvy. Right. We apple core, and then we just slice them like this, and then you put a couple slices on there, and then if you pass that over, okay. I'm gonna throw it on the pinny. The, the little grill. Do you put butter on the bread before? I do. So you I do. Do you put a little butter on both yes. sides or just one okay, side? Well, first you off. do the top side, right? Okay. And then we already have have a sandwich going over here. So you let's grab plate. that one, right? And we can also cut that up and show you how we make this really cool and really Yum. fun. Yeah. This looks like so cut them and good. Corded them. So mm -hmm. it makes it like fun finger food. We also triangle them, which gives you like a really nice like, mm -hmm. shingled look going on over there. And, and you can, can also see one? then the layers of the two different cheeses with exactly. the prosciutto di cotto exactly. and the apples, of course. What do you think? Delicious. Now, by the way, we also want a little classy, so good. a little healthy over here. We're okay. doing spadini. I wonder what it tastes like, too. <laughs> I've never so had good. these before. <laughs> no, she never has. I Let me ask you, how many is too many? I've had ten already. They're so good. Okay, let's, let's um, talk about the shrimp. We're doing shrimp and scallop spadinis. <laughs> Basically, really simple. And we're going to marinate them in the beginning. So mm -hmm. over here we got to marinate. You got a little bit of olive I'm oil. I'm supposed to help you with this part. Okay. Go ahead. Throw that I on love in the there. apple in there. Got lemon zest. I know it's yeah. so good. No rules. Have fun. I got a little crushed garlic over there. Throw okay. that in. And then I've got my cool whisk over here. So just going to whisk that up a little bit. Man, be careful. Make it a little yeah, messy. I don't, uh -huh. Now over here, I've already pre pre uh, assembled mm -hmm. my skewers. So just put that right in there. You got some? Is it chicken? So we've got. Shrimp, a chicken and shrimp, or scallop? Oh, scallop. A tomato and a little basil. Got it. That's it. Really simple. Really simple. But you want to let these marinate for about an hour or two. So I've already in have the fridge, some. obviously. Yep. So just dump that in there. Okay. Then we're gonna seal it up. Right. Perfect. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna infuse. There we go. Have, yep. There and we the go. Garlic and. Oh and this God, probably cooks really quickly. It does. You only need about a minute each side. So when the throw these on the grill over here, you get them dancing? Yes. What? You want to make sure your grill is nice and Little hot. Little sizzle. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Summer sizzle? No, it's winter. Okay, so we uh, throw these down. And once you hear them sizzling, you know they're cooking. And also, the hotter it is, you want to make sure it's really hot so that they don't stick to the grill. And then when you throw those down, also really, really cool fun tip. You want to make sure that you cut your scallops really thin, the same size as the shrimp, because you do want them to cook evenly through. All and right. the shrimp are no longer translucent. They're done. They're done and ready to go. We're going to try this during the break, because we have to go, Brandon. Thank you so much. This is delicious. Appreciate it, as always. I'm talking about. We'll be right back.